Hi, I'm Mary Nibrana, Peak Performance and Leadership Coach. This is Resilience 101, How to Manage Your Fears. Now, our brains always send information from our experiences into the brain and it's hardwired there. So what does that mean? There are neurons in your brain, so these are drawings of neurons, and they collect information. So in a classroom situation like with mathematics, if you have a good mathematics teacher, helpful classmates, and you enjoyed the mathematics class, this piece of information goes through your neural pathways and then drives an electric uh, stimuli and goes and gets in your brain where you're happy. So mathematics brings you happiness one time. And after a while, if you do it many, many, many times, it becomes like an expressway. Every time you think about mathematics, good teacher, helpful classmates, enjoyable, you are happy. Happy. Mathematics, happy. Mathematics, happy. Hardwired like an expressway. It comes very quick. Obviously, the other way could happen as well, right? When you are thinking about a subject you didn't have a good experience of, let's say your science teacher was mean, your science classmates were competitive, and you really didn't understand some of the components of science. So every time you think about science, you were sending information that it made you uncomfortable, anxious, unhappy. So science was wired by your neural pathway for you to be unhappy. And so after a while, every time you did science, or, or thought even about science, you went to upset, anxious, unhappy. And so some of us avoid science or avoid any subject that causes us to be uncomfortable. Now this is okay. In life, you can do some things better and do some things less well. But the point is, did you really not like science? Or did you hardwire yourself so soon that you got stuck in this pattern? Right? So what do you do then if you want to overcome this fear? You actually need to take a deep breath. How does that work? Every time you think about something that causes you discomfort, maybe a science lesson or a science competition or even doing with normal science stuff or anything else, dogs, cats, your grandmother, your grandfather, things that make you frightened sometimes, when you are going to think about them and you know you're going to be anxious, your job is to take a deep breath and you can just see you kind of like cut through the expressway. So instead of going shh, you go shh, and you take a deep breath and you cut through the expressway and one more time and one more time maybe. The more times you are able to cut and breathe through this, you are actually slowing down the expressway of fear. It looks like this. You have a reptilian brain in your brain, part of it, and there's also the prefrontal lobe cortex. So this part of your brain tends to get very scared as if it's under attack. So maybe your maths was not under attack, you were very happy, but your science causes you to be under attack. So it'll be like that. And your only way to deal with it is to take a deep breath so that you calm your body, so that your prefrontal lobe, which is the one that is creative, intuitive, and wise, can come in and work together with your reptilian brain so that you can overcome your fear. But if you go very fast like an expressway, shh, nothing can help you reduce your fear. So you take a deep breath and you cut through your expressway of fear. And then after a while, because you've done it so many times, you will be able to rewire your brain through your own self-awareness. You rewire because every time you feel uncomfortable or you're going to go back to the old habit, you take a deep breath and you calm your reptilian brain so that your prefrontal lobe cortex can act. And after a while, your fears go less and less and less. And one day, you may have no more fear over science. You may have a great joy over learning everything new or trying something new because you rewired your own brain. Find out more from Teen Success Coach and look out for more Resilience 101 with Marin Yubana.